Hey guys, Jake the Long Kid here, and today I've actually got a big project today. So I have a friend out here who lives near me ask, asking me to come by and put some bushes since they got a little bit behind last fall. So today I thought maybe I'd take you guys along with me and give you a couple tips along the way, alright? So let's go prune some bushes. Okay, so here's a quick little overview of the before. We got some spireas, some lilas, and we got a few sets of leaf stocks. Alright, so the safety equipment you'll need is basically a hedge trimmer and your safety equipment, which in this case will be our safety glasses and our work boots. Okay, so here we are onto the pruning. So as you can see here, I'm starting off with the lilacs by the garage. Now I'm trying to make them both equal. So what I'm going to do with these lilacs here is I'm just going to take them off by two inches and give them more of a smoother, more circular appearance. Okay, now here we are on our first set of green stocks. Now these green stocks are a little bit smaller than the ones I've showed you in the before shot. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and take off about two and a half feet. Just give them a nice even look on both sides. Alright, now obviously as you can see here, this is another lilac, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this one down half its size, just to, you know, prevent it from covering any of the neighboring plants. Alright, now we're on to the spireas here, as you can see. So basically what I'm trying to do with these is I'm trying to make them a little bit smaller. So I'm just really taking off like a half inch of these, just trying to make them look a little bit smaller and a little bit professionally trimmed. Okay, so now here we are on the side of the house. I'm pruning some more green stalks, as you can see here, and they're pretty overgrown. Now, I'm not really trying to cut them down. All I'm really trying to do for these is just shape them down and separate them a little bit because they have grown together due to the fact that they haven't been pruned in like a year. So I thought maybe I'd try and separate them and just do the best I could for them. Alright, obviously once you're done pruning, there's always going to be a little bit of cleanup involved. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your blower and just blow everything into one pile. And then you're going to go ahead and rake it up with one of these thatch rakes like you see me using here. And of course, once you've done that, all you want to do is just pick it up by hand and just be sure you have a paper bag near you. And then just do that throughout the areas where you have loose leaves hanging around from the pruning. You Okay, now there may be some times where you're going to have to get down on your hands and knees just to pick up stuff like you see me doing here. And the reason I'm doing it here in the landscaping beds is because I didn't want to take the risk of blowing any rocks from the landscape bed into the turf because that would have taken like a long time to clean up. Now, this pickup may take a little bit longer, but it's better than having to manage a bunch of little rocks getting into the turf. Alright, now the last thing you got to do after getting every single thing out of the landscape there's going to be some remains left that you that got into the front lawn so what we're going to do is we're just going to blow those into the center like i showed you earlier just going to rake them up and then you're going to pile them up and then just bag them and then boom you're done Alright guys, that's it. I am Jake the Long Kid. Thank you for joining me today for my hedge trimming job. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.